Hi everyone, this is my fourth attempt of making auto hotkey um, tutorial. I'm a beginner, absolute beginner, but it's still fun to make these videos. Today is about um, using click and mouse click, and I needed that um, with the GIMP. I uh, create math lectures and GIMP, and using pen tablet, it's very um, essential to me. So um, having an additional hotkey set up for GIMP, it's, um, it's amazing. So this is um, GIMP, and I pro you created this chalkboard effect and all. It already has an amazing number of uh, hotkeys. I was trying to use it using this context, and it wasn't that obvious, and I wasn't able to find um, what I wanted to do, which is what I'm going to show. So we already had a great set of hotkeys, and then um, I set up into this, my pen tablet device. It has already eight hotkeys, but there are still things that I couldn't find, and I'm using this auto hotkey, which is this. I use this pen brush over here, and these are the options that associate with the pen brush, especially over here. And the size thing, and if I want to make that pen brush thicker and I have to press this one one time, it creates a, a higher a thick, a thickness. And this was tiny and was a bit inconvenient, so I wanted to use this, this thing in there by going to this tool option, by clicking on that, go to this tool options window and move your mouse there and clicking on that. You know, increasing pen brush size, a couple of things. So we can do that in um, with this auto hotkey. Right, I figured out how to um, get this side tag. It's an amazing um, scripter, a uh, script editor. Let me go and take that. Right, I don't know how to get rid of that symbol there, but it's recording now. And this is um, site for auto hotkey. Let me show you here. That's the title. And toward the end of the video, if I don't forget, I'll show you how I got this one. But this is the script editor where um, you don't have to um, go through this um, run procedure. It has buttons. So all you have to do is just click on this run script button or F5 key. It automatically saves the changes and run the script, so quite convenient. So here I'd like to explain this and how to do that. Click on this tool options window and move your um, mouse over here in this location and click on up or down to change the uh, brush size. So and this part requires to getting the precise location of a mouse. And for that, they have this um, program, WinSpy, that can be found under the Auto Hotkey in the Start menu. Let me go in to the Start menu, and here's Auto Hotkey um, folder. And under and at the very bottom, I find this Window Spy, and that's what is running in there. So if I this is always placed on top of the or the other window. So if I go in and click on this site for Auto hotkey, so you can see that it is now showing that active window. The title is my hotkeys.ahk, which is the title of this current window. So, all the other, if that's a one, one way to recognize um, active window, but there are other information. This is the class of this type of window, it's a site window and uh, whatever it's running this program so you can use this information about windows um, to kind of select that active window or recognize that active window what i wanted is this mouse position so if i move this position over here make sure I'm, this one is active and if i move the mouse over here in the white space that position is now 570 and 217 so let me go ahead that means you go to horizontally 570 over here and 270 down there, and that's the location. It is relative to your window. So if I move the window slightly over here, it'll still find that relative location within that window. But it is important 
the window is somewhat wherever you try to locate it there must have top size and bottom size correctly and set up so let me go back to this tool option in here and because it's long you can scroll down like this for some reason you happen to be over here and then um, if you were all working on that if you hit the hotkey it'll find the wrong location it will have to make sure that it's always in the same location vertically and horizontally um, so that was the important part you have to be aware of that but once you get that location you can type it in there then with that and let me explain um, the script over here this is about GIMP and changing the brush size and if you start with the semicolon and this is a comment line it helps to organize all these different hotkeys in one um, one script and this is one thing I learned it's a sharp symbol if window active AHK class this is a GIMP I run this and we'll go ahead and show you if you click on that GIMP file and that's the kind of class I decided to use this one I don't know um, I, I actually do understand now this is um, it's kind of conditional we're gonna run this script only this GIMP software is active so class was um, the right choice rather than just the title so if you end this one at the old way bottom there let me go ahead and find it there with this same command if window active and everything in between these two um, commands starting that if window active and ends at if window active down there everything in between will only run the hotkeys will be only activated if the GIMP is running which is this AH class so that's that was very useful because we're using many many hotkeys so uh, sometimes those hotkeys are only for this one and then maybe you're running out of choice of the keys in there and this is was very useful so first thing i do here is the key is a right click mouse button hold down and um, hit uh, letter d and that's gonna do this brush brush size change first command is mouse get position and x position and y position that means we get the current location of mouse because i'm going to go to the tool options and i click on that change the brush size i want to come back to where i where my pen was so it was useful to get that x and y position and save that x y and position to this variable x position and y position you can name it whatever you want but i chose it like this and at the very end after everything is over move your mouse and activate now i'm going to show you little bit let me go write down something and if I write something it's automatically changed the title of window to star green they put the star over there I realize that that's the best choice of a window title um, let me go ahead and find that script there best choice of window title so if the window starts with star the window active first choice is a window title if your window title starts with a star that'll be activated um, so that was good enough when I was using GIMP and move your mouse to that position X and Y so when you're calling these variable values you have to put this percent symbol and back and forth beginning and at the end so come back and putting in there so that's the uh, what I'm doing mouse get position X position and Y position and at the end Put your uh, pen position right back at where it started but now once you get that position what you want to do go ahead and activate this tool option window which is over here tool option window so that's the command win active and the title tool options so if you look at the manual there are other um, ways to activate a window not using a title but this was good enough tool options and then you have to get the position starting 0 comma 0 is upper left corner and I use that window spy to get this position 140 pixel to the right and from that position 200 pixels down and this was a speed of um, mouse movement and clicking it 
So I didn't want it to get too fast. So that's uh, one is fast, and I think 100 was very slow, but you can look that up. Mouse click is left mouse click. That's the position. There's a little bit of a speed involved in there. So once you click on that and uh, activate the window star, which is um, my original GIMP um, chalkboard main canvas, and then move your mouse back to the where it was, where it was originally. So that was um, increasing the brush brush size, and here's a decreasing the brush brush size is V. I chose this two key that happened to be my um, tablet hotkey, so I can combine with the right right hand uh, right click. Then it's really convenient. So this was the same thing. You can see the position is quite similar, 140 and 200. I think it was a 200, so closer to 200. This is right below it. That's down at um, decreasing brush size. So by doing these two, um, I can increase and decrease uh, brush size. And the rest of the part I use for GIMP is not using anything um, anything new this is kind of the same so let me not go into that part it's mainly about showing you these uh, mouse click um, command so come back in and here let me show you um, how this one's used let me go ahead and usually i put this one outside in there not within this recording part but i'm going to show it here so if i writing um auto hotkey demo and I usually use this with a different color, so I choose a different color, and so that's a that different color. Now, if I want to circle it with a thicker, um, thicker brush, then I want to go over here and increase the brush size. But now I have this hotkey, so it's right click, which is set to on this pen. So clicking on this pen and use this key, as you can see over here. It increased to 4.50. It was before that was 2.50. And I can, you know, circle it like this. And then I change the size back using this hotkey. Um, again, you don't even see it. It happens over there so quickly. So you can see that's a thinner line back there. It's a thinner, thinner is how you write it, brush size. Can see so when you're you know giving a lecture or generating a video, go back and forth if you can avoid that. It's less distracting and to give a um, lecture far better control. So oh, it's awesome. Another thing that um, there's a couple other things that I didn't know how to find hotkeys in uh, GIMP, and I use this um, auto hotkey, and I could do that in, in split second. It's amazing. All right, um, here is how this one's spelled, site at, at site or um, auto hotkey. So that's what I typed in to the Google and it gave me some of the choices. This was the best choice I found. It's in the forum of auto hotkey website and it, in the bottom, it shows you the location of the website and supported platform in there. If you go there, and you will find this particular website where the installer is found. So um, I don't know if it's going to be pretty much a permanent uh, site where this thing is hosted, but this is um, how I found it. But it was very, very convenient to use this script editor. And that is it.